What's going on guys? So I got a new video for you today. I uh, just want to apologize for not having that many videos out this week. This week and next week are going to be pretty busy for me in real life, so you might not see as many videos. I plan to pre-record a couple things. I have a couple ideas, so I'm going to try to get them together. And uh, hopefully next week will be better than this week, but that's uh, the main reason. I love to give you guys excuses and uh, pick you know pick whichever excuse you like the most. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I know I'm, I'm working on it. I actually have some pretty good ideas. Um, they were suggested to me. Um, um, few, uh, I'll just give you the first one that, that's probably going to come out. Yeah, we're going to do a data video. I'll basically look up the uh, files and figure out how many of each party had are in game, how many um, of whatever, like whatever the rarest pet is, whatever the most common pet is, and whatnot. So uh, that should be pretty interesting. If you have any suggestions or anything you want to see specifically from that video, let me know because you still have the opportunity to. But this video is on something pretty cool. And this idea really, I've, I've had the idea since the server was around. You know, I always wanted to do seal bosses, it's something that is it's an interesting thing it's it's really it's a lot harder to, to in terms of like the combat mechanics of it than um than i was expecting i winter todd really was, was pretty well done in terms of like being a skill boss and it's, it's just it's just weird it's a weird concept they've only have one so there's only like one piece of work we can use as, as reference and um this really isn't it's really not much like winter todd so I'll show you all the mechanics because, uh, really, uh, I'm not gonna show you all the mechanics. I'll just show you the ones that you need to get started and whatnot. So, uh, this is gonna be our first hunter skill boss, like our first skilling boss. So I'm not gonna do two hunter skill bosses. So uh, it is the hunter skill, and there is the Windows button. Look at that pug, so sad. Um, so in a few minutes, something should happen over yell, and when that happens, I will resume. Also, you um, when you're seeing this video, I'm, I'm hoping the update will be out the same night. But uh, as I mentioned, it's just been kind of busy, so it might be tomorrow. Hopefully, this will be out the same night. Either way, um, I'll have a video talking about the full update whenever the update is actually live. So you can check that out. But hopefully, this will sort of be a little hype video to kind of show you know show you guys what's coming out new. You know what's what's new, and uh, yeah, I will be back when this uh, thing happens. Okay, so the time of it all, I'm actually not 100% sure. Um, actually, you know what, one sec. Right, okay, so that was set to 10 minutes. I'm probably going to adjust it to 30. I think 30 every 30 minutes is probably the best time. Um, so this isn't something you can grind exactly. You can sort of grind it, and you'll see how when I explain the mechanics and whatnot. So one of the items you can get from the uh, loot crate is the Hunter's Talisman. So we'll, uh, we'll redeem that. We'll head to Felded Pills. And, uh, yeah, there is the boss. Tuz. So, can't attack it. It's going to be aggressive. Um, keep in mind that this is, like, there's still going to be things that happen. Like, this isn't this isn't 100% finished. This is just at a point where I can show you, you know, content and whatnot. Um, the things I have left are really just small, minor things to make everything look better. I plan to add a little bit more surrounding so it's not so straightforward and whatnot. Still have to make the area multi. Still have to finish out his mechanics. And when that, um, even though this is a non-combat boss, you can take a, what the hell is Disney Magic Kingdom? Did I just accidentally install that shit? Did that, did I, ha what? I promise you I'm not playing Disney's Magic Kingdom. <laughs> my, my secret's exposed. Um, anyways, let's, let's move on. So, uh, normally this thing will be here, and you should hopefully have some extra people. I gotta make sure the loots are good, otherwise people don't do it. That's one thing I hate about private servers, is that there's not really a good mix of players. When you think of, like, RuneScape, you have your noobs, you got your mid-level, you got your higher mid-level, you got your in-game. On a private server, it's pretty much just in-game, because everything's easier, so everybody can progress much faster, and it's really just in-game content. So if it's not overpowered, nobody will do it. And if nobody does it, what the hell was the point of doing it in the first place, right? So I have to make sure that the loots are good. I'm still probably going to have to mess with them and make them a little more balanced. I've changed my ideas like multiple times throughout the process of coding this, and that's affected how every that's affected how good everything will be. So I'll have to make sure at the end of the day that it is still worth doing. But so you spawn in here. This thing is going to smack you. You cannot protect from prayer from it. So bringing your best like tanky melee is the uh, is the recommended thing. If you are a level three skiller. It's possible to kill it. It's just going to be harder. Like, that's that's kind of the point I was trying to make. Is that even though it's not a combat boss, having health will help a lot. Um, or having people, you know, having having people helping you will help. Um, it's going to be doable. And I'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of show the process. Not in this video, but in a different video somewhere in the future. I'll show the process of how, how it will work. 
So it is completely doable, but uh, bring your best melee gear. If you have a Din's Bulwark, a Din's Bulwark will be pretty good here. This will have a special attack that the Din's Bulwark completely negates. And on top of that, it is, you know, it does have good melee defensive stats, so... Um, what you can do is you have these three chests, and they're depending on his location. He can spawn in different locations. Um, you will, you will. It's basically the one, this one, two, and three. You can tell because, well, if you examine it, it'll say maybe you should check this trait third, and then also there's three crates, two crates, one crate. So it's pretty simple. Start off here. You'll get broken spirit part one. Come over here. I'm still adjusting these rates. You're going to spam click. I, I need to make it so that the animation triggers all the time so you know it's actually working. Because right now it looks like nothing's happening. And then all of a sudden you'll just get it. I... That's annoying. I made it like 1 in 10. It used to be 1 in 25. Now it's 1 in 10. Okay. I swear it's 1 in 10. Wow. Awesome. There is a uh, secret rare from all... But not really secret rare. It's just rare. The... It... It's, not that... it's not that fancy. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I made it sound fancier than it was. Uh, so then come over here. It's, if you get it, it's cool. And you'll know exactly what to do with it once you get it. And then, boom, we have Fizzy Fart. Put them all together. Use them on the big guy. Boom. 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 40 damage. And there might be another one that does a more amount of damage. That's That, that was that was tied in with the, the secret drop. So it is, it's going to start off aggressive, so it'll always be attacking everybody here anyways. And the area will be multi, of course. So... Um, that's how you'll kill it. You can't actually uh, combat it. You can retaliate if you're wondering, but I'm going to give it like such high defense. Don't do that. Um, and you could probably mage it, but again, high defense, don't do that. Uh, it's not really meant to be a combat boss. Just get the damn spears. So once you kill it, you will get a good chunk of these minerals. And if you saw... Um, is that the right idea? Yeah. And if you see, you actually get some of the minerals as it... As you use spears, and the amount you get is random. Uh, these mounts are not like they're not finalized. Again, just don't, just don't see everything. Just don't look at everything you're seeing and assume that that's going to be exactly how it is when it's released. Because there's a lot of smaller things, just smaller things that had to be changed. We got to like adjust the rates and whatnot, make sure it's not broken. So if you end up actually soloing it, it's almost better. That's kind of one of the things about Winter Tide is if you solo it, you actually have like a better chance at it. So it actually kind of benefits from not having to compete with the other people. So if this, you know, boss isn't as popular as I want it to be or anything like that, you can solo it and have uh, much success. Obviously, it'd be much harder to do because while this thing is smack, you're going to be using food and whatnot. But um, as you can see, you can get more. So once this thing dies, let me just spawn like a million more. Ten. Ten equals a million. I believe it has 2,000 health, if you were wondering. Let me, let me I'm just going to omnivore. Hey, so that, was that death or no? It doesn't have a death animation. It's technically a pet. It's the Herbie pet, but I've made it bigger because it looks badass. Doesn't that thing look cool? It sort of fits as a uh, as a thing. It has a good walking animation. It's just when it turns, it does that weird like. It's it's not it's not all the time, so it's kind of hard to like show it. But the little star thing you probably saw. So when it dies, um, right there, nothing really crazy happened. You just get a kill on everything. But uh, basically, what it'll do is it'll get a good chunk of unindefinite material minerals. And then you'll have a rare chance at some other things as well. And then you have to wait for another 30 minutes to return to spawn. If you actually don't kill it in the 30 minutes, it will move. So I think 30 minutes is, is perfectly enough time to kill it. And if you're wondering how to get to these places, you gotta walk. So this Hunter's Talisman is definitely gonna be dope. So if you come over to him after the uh, after the thing is dead, he'll... Uh, Give you some trade options. So you have bookcases. So if you are one of those skillers that was wondering how you're going to get intervention or how you're going to get Slayer bookcases. And I know that this isn't the final solution, but I plan to add bookcases to more things and more, and you know, just multiple other ways to get those experiences. I know people complain about that when it first came out, but I digress. So there's a title, which I shouldn't have spoiled, but I'm kind of rocking it. So uh, if you don't know why I put that title, just YouTube it. Um, Tech Nine is a Tech Nine song. It's a good song, listen to it. So you can also get a raid box, which is 250k minerals. Again, these amounts of minerals are going to be changed around a little bit to make things perfect. The loot crate is around 8k minerals. My hope was that each um, go at it would be around 8k minerals, but that does not seem to be the case because, um, I mean, obviously we did. We got the 10k, but that's because it was just, I'm soloing it. I don't think a normal person would, so... Yeah, there's that. And then you also have a pet gamble. Um, with the pet gamble, 
Do you want me to like? Because if you saw, it removes the interface when you click it. Uh, yeah, I should probably. Uh, you know, never mind. I'm having like inner, inner dialogue. So that is the gist of how the boss works. There's, um, you know, there's gonna be a couple other mechanics, a couple other things you gotta worry about soon. I'm not gonna talk about those too much, but uh, we'll, uh, you know, look forward to it. Uh, so I know that this is bug fix month. We actually have a decent little chunk of bugs. Nothing crazy. Um, you actually will see content. I know that it, it's, you know, I talk about how it's gonna be bug fix month, but there will be little bits of content. Uh, the new prayers are coming out. I don't know if I showed those. Um, yeah, they work and everything. Uh, those are coming out, and even in the next handful of updates, you'll have a good batch of bug fixes and then other things. I know that I said, I told people PvP would be the first thing we look at. I lied. Um, PvP will be the second thing we look at. So, so yeah, I apologize for that, but uh, it is it is not forgotten. I even have that in my note on the, on the actual update page. It says that. I don't want people to think I forgot about it or I'm not going to do it. It's just other things happened first, uh, and I forgot about it. <laughs> like, I did forget about it, but I, I'm, I'm remembering now, so it's n next update. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Apologize for the delayed update because I know I said it was going to come out Friday and we're on Sunday now. I apologize for the lack of videos. Hopefully I'll have some more. If you have any suggestions, any ideas, anything you want to see, if you want to see some sort of opening. Uh, did I, oh, I didn't show the loot crate, did I? Um, right now it's said 10 minutes, but it'll be 30 minutes on release. And there's another location it could possibly be. Um, I feel like that's not the... Is that the ID? That was the idea. Okay, so this is what a loot crate looks like. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust these rates. So whenever you loot a loot crate, you're gonna get a lot of items. So as you can see, you get uh, these four. You get all. You always are gonna get these items right here. But the amounts you get are gonna be random. Um, for while Easter event is out, you're gonna get an Easter egg, the PVM one. Um, whenever this, whenever the Easter event is gone, it'll be a clue box. And then whenever like in any another new new event, you can consider that a. You know, a reward from there, and then you also get a like a rare drop table type loot that has it has half good stuff and half bad stuff, and obviously the hunter's talisman's on that. So, and that times fire cape, infinity hat probably needs to be buffed really. When I when I designed the loots, I, I intended for the loot crates to be better, or not not necessarily better, just more common. So that's why the loots are poor. But the fact that they're they're more rare now, I have to go back and adjust them a little bit. You can get some higher tier things. You can get the pet, of course. Um, you can get raid boxes itself, and you can see kind of how this stuff would stack up, but... Yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts. If there's anything you want to see, making boxes is hard. I, it's just hard to know what people actually want, because I know that, like, the things I want when I'm playing the game, I want, I want clues and crystal keys. Because they just make money, you know what I mean? Like, just it's just mostly just pure money, so... Um, yeah, if you have any ideas, shoot below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.